another sorcerer. You and him never really got along. And you forget his name from time to time, but he always thwats you in all of your classes, always trying to outdo you. But all that set aside, you the professor comes up to you today and tells you that he has a certain project that just for your success. He takes you to the side and tells you that this sort of magic isn't common and it's frowned upon and not a lot of study in it, but he thinks that you might have some aptitude for it. He hands you some notes and after a couple of days of study, you realize that these notes are on interdimensional travel. You haven't made too much headway on it just yet, but you think that light and the speed of it and how it interacts with the things around it have a lot to deal with interdimensional travel so today of all days you think you're going to try and talk to your arch nemesis Zeus Yo. what's your character's name again uh, Dean. Okay. How am I gonna do you? Okay, can, can I make a suggestion? Question? Yeah, you can make a suggestion. Uh, so what I said a while ago was, um, uh, uh, you know, remember, uh, part of organization to destroy, uh, opposite remember oh yeah you, you'll get that but okay thank you. this version of you not gonna live this version. longer oh thank you um just go along with this for now okay um you came to this co to the city at an early age you were destined to join the sorcerer's college um in all your classes you fought tooth and nail to be at the top of the class always trying to get noticed there's always been this little demon trying to get in your way you really don't like him but you've had to work with him sometimes you even forget his name but he approaches you one day and today is that day key role play Dean I may need your help with a project the professor has assigned me. Uh, what is that? I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, or at least you should. Ah, uh, yes, you're that, uh, uh, Kindling, you said? Tiefling. Tiefling, yes, quite. Uh, um, what do you need? Um... This project, it um, it has uh, it has a deal, it has a good bit of light, and um, involves travel. Um, can use a bit of help with said traveling of light, and what it can do, and what it is capable of. I think you might want a, a professor of that, but I'm always willing to help a fellow student, huh? Thank you. No problem. I, um, I fiddle with the note in my pocket a little bit, and I take it out and I take a quick glance at it. Assuming I'm carrying the notes with me. Madden. Yes, yes, you're carrying the notes with you. I was pushing down Z instead of my mouse button. <laughs> um, you, you, you glance at the notes again, and you notice um, there are certain runes involved. You, you, it, it's written in a language you quite don't understand. It's, it's very, very old. The, the pages nearly turn to dust in your hand, but the magic of the words themselves are holding the paper together. Uh, could I possibly know this language? I have a wide variety. You don't know this language. It is okay. very old. And it's you, it, 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 it strikes you odd, and sometimes when you look away, you swear the, the letters on the page change on their own. 
I um I carefully fold the paper over so as only to expose some of these runes or words and I show it to Dean and ask him if he can make something out of this. Uh, do I have anything in my character sheet, knowledge, history, uh, that would... Um, that could you can affect. try. You can always try. Uh, try to do what, if I may ask? To decipher it. Well, not decipher a bit, but maybe it, see if I recognize it. and then... You don't recognize anything at first glance. Um, you do notice the symbols for light, because you've studied those for mm -hmm. years. Uh, okay. These look like uh, symbols of light used in advanced uh, spell weaving. Fascinating, but they're something that I haven't never seen before. Such as... Well, uh, Professor Xavier, he's usually the top guy with this. I, I say we go ask him. I would rather not take this to other professors. I see, this... I see. Hmm. Well, I I remember. I I'm gonna ask y'all to roll an idea roll. All an it is, all I, it is, I, is I, your D twenty plus I, your class level. I I just got an idea though. Right. Okay. So uh, should I still roll or? Yeah, you can go ahead and roll it. All right, then let me get my dice machine up. Crap! I'm gonna need it. My dice, Barry. Can I get the link to the dice thing in the chat? Uh, yeah, hold on. I, know, I, don't I need actually have yet, my dice right here. Just wanted to say, Zeus, I love your professor name. Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> totally original. Yeah. Don't you just love me, my originalness? I think on the spot, eh? Yeah. Uh, Madman? Yeah, buddy. Uh, could there possibly be, um, I, I, I have an idea, though. Of where to start looking. There, I just posted it to everyone if anyone needs one. Thanks. You said it was a D20? Thank you. Yeah, it's just a standard D20. I rolled a 1. <laughs> oh god. Well... That didn't pass. <laughs> but I'll help you out anyway. Uh, can, can I have a... Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no okay, never mind. Go ahead. Your what, what'd you roll? No, uh, well, n no, I mean, I have an idea. Or to start looking. Um, the back of your mind, you remember that the school has a library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking you, there may be a, uh, there actually may be a uh, advanced copies. Maybe there's something here. I've actually seen, uh, but I'm thinking that this might be. Uh, wait, how extensive is the library? You've never seen the back of it. <laughs> you, you could One get lost in for days. Um, okay. Well, we could we could check the library, but this stuff seems interesting. Would you like to? Uh, yes, I, I do think that would be a good idea, since you have the best knowledge of where to find the, um, the light uh, books, and uh, may be able to find us some sort of history uh -huh. on this. <laughs> Roger that. Alright, so y'all go to the library. Narco and Starfish. You two rascals. Alright. Hey, Narco, Starfish, you here? I am. Yeah, yeah you are here? here. Alright. What are your character names? Nolan. Nolan and... Arielinda. Oh, okay. God. 
Christopher uh, can Nolan? you spell th yes? <laughs> can you spell that for me? I'm writing them down. A R I A L I N D A. Nolan and Ari Linda. I'm call you Ari for short. Uh, hold on. Let me get Mama open so I make sure I can talk. Him. I think I might play a Druid. If you call him Arya, I'm gonna imagine him as the girl from Game of Thrones. Okay. She's six foot, 175 pounds. Totally. You two have known each other since the first day you bumped each other on the street. And from that day, you two have been getting into the same mischief you do every day. Pickpocket here, scam there, bank job there. And y'all have finally gotten the notice of a group known as the Shattered Hand. This is one of the biggest political groups in the city, known for its shady dealings and knack for making people disappear. You ran into this group because you stole from the wrong man on the wrong day doing the wrong job. In exchange for your lives, you have to do a job for them. Your reputation precedes y'all. Now, all you know is that a courier is going to meet you with an envelope in a bar known as the Drunken's Maid down by the shore of the market district. Devil. Uh, break. Hello, Devil. Quick second. Uh, I'm going to have to ask Ross if we can get a private room. For who? I'm going to have to ask Ross if we can get a private room. Way to ruin things, Devil. Okay. Devil, you yeah. have convinced them that we need a private room. Hi, Devil. Devil. How, you what? Doing what? How are you doing today, Devil? This is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'll just leave. Well, I mean, it, it's fine if you stay. It... <laughs> Anyways. Okay, we're not. Um, it's okay, they kind of kicked me out of the other group room earlier. <laughs> Y'all know this bar. You go there quite often. You know it's a safe haven for shady types. And you don't feel uncomfortable going there. So, I'll walk in the door. Uh, I didn't catch that. Was that we walk into the door? Yeah, that's all right. too. Y'all known each other for a long time. So old friends. So Arya, what do you think about this whole job thing for these guys? <laughs> Seems kind of fishy. Well, we don't really have a choice, do we? It's either do this job or we get killed. I. I very attached to my head, thank you. I think we'll go ahead and do this job. <laughs> uh, heads are overrated. We could skip town. You know, take our chances. Yeah, but the thing is, I've heard about this group, and they have a fairly long reach, and I, I don't think our chances of getting out of town heads intact is very good. Why don't we at least see what the courier has to say, and, and we'll, we'll decide soon... from there. As you finish that sentence, a hand rests on your shoulders. Not planning on skipping town, are we? <laughs> no, why would we do that? No. I no, 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 no. Just something I heard. Someone over there told me. Oh, wait. I was standing behind you the whole time. I wouldn't listen to that Nolan guy. He's pretty untrustworthy. <laughs> you notice that both of you have to look pretty high to see this guy's face. Um, both of y'all instantly recognize this as a troll. Hey, no, that looks like a troll. Yes, <laughs> I'm a troll, and I have ears. Don't you guys live under bridges? <laughs> <laughs> you have a nasty breathing habit, and man, if I had more time on my hands, I could definitely rid you of it. Uh, I, I've been trying to get rid of it for years. No one's had a cure yet. Well, here's your envelope. Don't screw this up. 
Alright, thanks, man. Do I have to give you a tip or something now? If I had more time, I would kill you. I hope you know that. Sure. You go have don't a good mind, time. Don't mind no listen, sir, don't mind no one. He's he's a little he's a little uh little rapid fire at the mouth. He doesn't he, he doesn't mean any harm. You ha you have a good day. Well you might want to keep your partner here on a leash. He'll get both of you killed. Yeah, I've told him that a hundred times. Thank you again. <laughs> the man leaves. He, you notice that everyone in the bar gets out of his way as far as they can and as fast as they can. I elbow Nolan in the ribs. You and your big mouth always getting us into trouble. This is the problem. This is what happened with the bank job three months ago, remember? You had to pop off at the mouth of the teller and they almost caught us. Eh, there are a lot of bank jobs who can discern one from another. You remember. You remember very well because right after you popped off at the mouth to the teller, the entire law enforcement showed up. Oh, well, that, that one. Yeah, yeah, you remember that bank job? Yeah, that one. Yeah, a little. That one where we had to hide in a hole for three months? Yeah. Hey, hey, what was I saying earlier? Skip down and hide? Eh? <laughs> it worked last time. <sighs> sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't know why I put up with you. I don't either, but you're still here. All right, all right. So I take it you guys decide to open the envelope? Yes, I op I take the envelope out of Nolan's hand and open it. Trad is just about to burn right. that. <laughs> you open the envelope and you pull out a glass orb and some paper. Uh, how big is the glass orb? It fits in the palm of your hand. Roughly 12 inch diameter. That's a big envelope. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> you look in the envelope and you you can't see a bottom. Dude, this um, this thing is huge. I should carry this I'm, around and keep all of my stuff in it. Yeah, we're gonna hang on to this envelope. But meanwhile, back to the to the glass orb and the paper. Hey. What are you thinking when you look into the orb? I'm thinking. I wonder how what kind of reaction I could get from Arya if I asked her how far do you think I could throw it? I'm thinking I'm thinking that Nolan is probably wondering how far he could throw this. <laughs> <laughs> the orb swirls, turns dark, and uh, you see outside of the window. This might come in handy. Like, outside the window looking into the bar? Yes. This might come in very handy. We're gonna keep this safe, Nolan, you're not throwing this. <laughs> Look, Arya, I'm on the orb. Yes, we're on the orb. Good for us. Now, can we, <laughs> can we try to decipher what's on the paper, please? Alright, I pick up the paper and look at it. You notice the paper's written in very rough handwriting, like someone was, was, was in a bit of a hurry says, um, first off, this orb, <laughs> hey, we're, uh, D&D, &D, if you Get don't in mind. private room, now. <laughs> Let's not be rude. Hey, Papa. Hey, we're doing some D&D. You can stay and listen if you want, but, uh, yeah, yeah. just well, try not to interrupt. I'm my console, so I'm not really Alright. Love you, Papa. What happened? He I said love he you. you. Oh. Are we good? I think so. Okay. Uh, I love, uh... Maybe not. What is this, Kaiser's... Uh, <laughs> the username now. <laughs> the America on a stick. <laughs> the silence is just hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's a little awkward. It's like I'm just waiting for everyone to, you know, get ready. I'm ready. 
I, I have no okay. blue dot, whatever. <laughs> Alright, you notice the, uh, the handwriting was very rough, very, very, very quickly jotted down. And it, it states that, uh, <clears throat> for starters, this is what it says. For starters, you're lucky to be alive. This orb you're probably holding in your hands right now is worth more than this whole part of town, but it's necessary for you to complete this job. You don't have to know what it is. What? Oh, RP room. Oh, is this our own channel? Wait, is this like an open channel or is it? Like... Um, I just changed it so this is a password. Oh, uh, what's the password? Um, you're already in here. Does it matter? This channel is yeah. gonna get deleted at the end of today anyway, so. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, if you have um, Zeus, you might want to let him know because he's the only one yeah. that didn't move. Zeus is probably sitting there going, it just got real quiet in here. <laughs> Come on, Zeus. Anyway, no one, what if I told you about throwing things? Bad things happen when you throw things? Only sometimes. Well, the paper goes on to say, use this orb whenever you need to find something. For starters, what you're after is knowledge. There's a group of sorcerers, you may know of them, the College of Sorcerers, and they have gotten their hands on some documents, ones they stole from us. Now, we were doing research on these documents around the time that they stole them, and more than likely, they have some sorcerers working on this right now. So what we need you to do is find them, kill them if you want, or some more, most importantly, get the documents back. Nolan, you can't throw the sorcerers. I, I snatch. <laughs> I snatch. No. Oh. At the bottom of the page, it says, um, be careful. These are sorcerers you have to deal with. And if you fail to get these documents, we'll write the next set of instructions to the next set of idiots in your blood. Signed, The Shattered Hand. Alright, so well, that was I just polite. I just hold this thing and I think of the place the, or thing I want to see. Alright, what are you thinking of? Or, okay, I snatch the orb and think of a place to hide out. It swirls and doesn't show you anything. Well, this thing is useless. Arya, we should uh, probably just sell it and run. Yeah, about that. Why? He said it's worth a lot. And if he said this part of town, you know he's just lying to us so we don't sell it. It's really probably worth the entire town. Well, seeing as I know that the Shattered Hand can reach us just about anywhere, I'm, I snatch the orb back from you. Give me that orb. Wow, okay. Before you break this thing. I look into the orb and I concentrate on the College of Sorcerers. It swirls, darkens, begins to light up. And you see an aerial view of the city as it slowly gets closer to the center. And you recognize the tower. Clockwork Tower. Everyone knows where that is. And it slowly pans in and pans in and starts to focus on a very large building. And you recognize that. The Sorcerer's College. So, okay, well, is this, this thing... thing is... Sorry. This thing is pretty much useless because we kind of already got from the note that uh, that that it's happening at the social idea roll. 
Roll a d20 for me. 18. Suddenly you think of, why don't you think about the documents? Hey, I have an idea. What's <laughs> that? Shut your mouth and be quiet. Listen. Or pay attention. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Harsh. Hey, I'm a female. It's that time of the month. Leave me alone. It's, it's always that time of the month. Hush your mouth. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> I giggle in spite of myself and concentrate <laughs> on the documents containing the information that the Shattered Hand needs to know. Oh, the orb vibrates in your hand as if it's happy someone finally intelligent is using it. It swirls and swirls quickly this time, a lot faster than last. And it shows you a room full of books. And you see two sorcerers. One of them with a pair of horns. The other looks like a normal human. They're both sitting at a very long table surrounded by books. And they're both almost arguing, talking very heatedly over a set of papers. Can they hear us? No, no, they can't. I can only see you. Okay. Nolan, this is important. We need to pay attention now. I think this is showing us wh where the documents are and who has them. And I know what you're thinking. We should we should run and hide. You know that's me. That's what you think. That that that's 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 number one. Number two, you're probably thinking we should charge in there, arrows blazing, and swords swinging, and just take what we want. But I think this is going to take a little bit of finesse. Let's start making our way towards the center of town, towards the college, and hopefully on the way there, between the two of us, we can come up with an idea that will get us in the doors first of all. All right, whatever you say. You seem to be completely against the running off and hiding idea, so I guess I'll go with you for now. I'm against the running off and hiding idea because I'm attached to my skin, and I really don't want any messages written in You're my own blood. You're attached to way too many worldly possessions. Breathing, skin, head. Come on, man. Or woman. Alright, so we start going towards uh, the center of town. So we, we you head out begin towards to question your companion's sanity. <laughs> <laughs> no, not cool. This, this we're is, we're uh, like this BFFs. Is not the first time I've that. Yeah, if we're BFFs, then there's no way he, he's used to this. Gee. Alright, Elbot, Zeus. Alright. Roll! Roll for initiative. Spot. Roll spot. Spot. Yep. Uh, D twenty, right? Yep. And if y'all only way y'all get this is if you roll in that twenty. <coughs> uh, where's the? I have no be? bonus to spot, so I rolled a ten. Close. Okay. What about him? Uh, rolled an eleven. All right. Well, it wouldn't have helped you either way. Um. Y'all are both sitting at the table talking about the documents. Roleplay. So, it is obviously uh, not ancient. Ancient merfolk and Ian. Uh, this, is, this is frustrating. I've never seen this type of language before and apparently none of these books say that there's even hints of this language. What is going on here? Hell if I know. Uh, why do you think I would come to you? I mean, the, this... Okay, this... God, no. Elbot, Zeus, class checks, D20s. Okay. Well, uh, and add what modifier? Your class level and so primary one. Yeah, just class so level. Uh, so one. So, I got a 16. I got a three. Um, a strong wind instantly gushes around both of you, and books begin to fall. Y'all pass the check, y'all get to react. 
I uh, passed the check, holy shit. I, um... I, uh... It, does it look dangerous? I mean, can I spot that? There's a lot of books falling at your head. Um, I form, I, uh, form the light. It, wait, how much light is it? Is this dusty? Is there a window? I don't know. There's plenty of light for you to use. Okay, I, uh, fo I form a, uh, series of shields with light, uh, around me and my spiky-headed friend. Alright, class check. Uh, roll B20. Mm-hmm. Uh, 16. Alright, and what would you like to do, Elbot? I will try and stop the wind with some waves in my hand and see if I can't get the books to just stop moving and to gently fall to the ground without causing harm to me or D. Alright, class check. <coughs> I rolled a four. Um, you notice that the source of the wind is totally unknown to you. And that you managed to stop some of the books, but one in particular that you have no idea where it came from landed dead center, top of the papers. <coughs> it went straight, and uh, Zeus, you noticed that it went straight through your barrier. Oh. Um, and is my barrier still up? Oh, it's very. You know, you know, it's a very strong shield. It would have caused an earthquake. All the other books bounce off of it. Can I, uh, um, can I do an arcana check on the book? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, uh, can I do one too? Mm, by all means, roll it. Uh, I roll it. Hold on, I'm just um, looking for my arcana modifier. And what is, uh, I have arcana modifier level 4, pretty sure, let me check. I rolled a 23. Very nice. Um, you recognize some of the symbols? Because a lot, a lot of them you, you've seen in your classes. Some of them you don't. Um, but you do notice a name. At the, oh, starting to flicker. You do notice a name right across the top of the book. One of your old professors that just died recently. An ancient man. Thousands of years old. By the name of... Azul. I, um, Dean, it may appear that this book belonged to a um, old professor of mine, uh, went by the name of, uh, Azul, I believe it was. Uh, you mean that ancient man that used to fall asleep during home put room? Indeed. Oh my. But, um, you know that... A lot of people didn't like this man simply because of his name. Something about ancient folklore of an ancient necromancer named Azul. Uh, keep on playing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can choose what you want to do from this point on. Uh, have the books still? Uh, are the books still whirling around? Oh no! As soon as this one landed, the winds stopped. Oh. Okay. Uh, Put, put down my shield and uh, walk up to the book. Okay. Should we open it? Uh, uh, so by all means. means. Do y'all want to know what it looks like? Yes. Sure. Alright. This tome looks like it's been sitting on the bottom of an ocean. It looks like it should be wet, but it's perfectly dry. The, uh, the, you can definitely tell the binding is of some sort of skin. You don't, you don't quite know what type of skin but you know it's not right you feel a very ominous <coughs> presence coming from this book uh vicious <coughs> vicious uh, no not vicious um uneasy you have an uneasy okay. feeling in your stomach hey um stand back there a little bit why I want to try something don't get us killed, you idiotic light mage. And you know what? I don't appreciate your sarcasm. I uh, I step back a couple paces um, and put a uh, put a small shield around the book and angle and uh, next to the book an angle light so it uh, flips so it uh, nice and easily flips open the book. 
I could well, have same. done that simpler with wind, you know. Oh, well, prof well Professor Norris keeps saying that I should practice my powers. Why don't you work in unison? <sighs> okay, hey, 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 okay, here, here's what we do, okay? I will, I can uh, reflect the light so it magnifies. I don't want to be near this thing. Uh, you use your wind power to flip the book. Huh? Fine, fine. Gosh, right. checks all around. 13. 19. Mm, you both pass. Now. Zeus, you put a sturdy shield around it. Oh my. <laughs> you open the cover. And you notice that the more the cover opens, the darker the room gets. And when the finally the cover lands, you and him are all alone in a place unknown. Only thing that was there that was before was the table. Even have no idea where you are. Completely surrounded by darkness. Can I do a planes well. check? Sure. I rolled a... Where's my modifier? I rolled a 25. You know you are no longer in the plane you were before. You feel oddly at home on this plane. Lucia, what just happened? Uh, I would have, it would appear we are uh, no longer in our world and mainly on a different plane of, I would say, existence, but judging by our surroundings, plane of emptiness is more like it. Crap. I, can, I, can't, I'm, I can't be in touch with my powers. I have no light. Well, you, you you feel, Zeus, you know that in a pinch, you can create your own light. Yeah, I know this. Uh, but, and, but without light, I'm severely weakened. And I can Same. just take the air from your lungs and use it. Oh, that, oh, that would be great. <laughs> this, is, this is just like Saturday all over again. What should we do, Lucius? Uh, well then, only one thing to do. Oh. I approach the book and I, uh, I begin to read it. Well, you notice the closer you get to the book, you start to hear things. Like people are trying to whisper to you. I, I, I continue to approach the book slowly. Oh, and I look, I look back and I tell uh, Dean... I don't think you should uh, come over here. Okay, I'll just stand over here in the pitch, scary darkness, and listen to the whispers of uh, thousands of dead people. That's scary. I'll just stand over here. Do you sit down? Me? No, Elbot. Do you sit down at the table? Uh, yes, I do. Next to you appears an ancient looking man he looks to you and says don't be frightened only you can see me you passed the first test now it seems to me you hear you have my journal this thing should have been destroyed a long long time ago you may not recognize me I'm a man lost in time a long long generation generations ago, before your kind was even thought of. I don't know what you're doing here in my home, but it looks like the book brought you here. It feels at home here. It's not threatened. It doesn't have to worry about being destroyed. But it's out of reach of me. I can no longer retrieve that book. I recommend you destroy it once you get done with it. But whatever you're doing, and especially with that journal, I recommend you do it quickly before persons of interest find you with it. They wouldn't hesitate to destroy you on a whim. They'd probably enjoy it, actually. 
But, um, I must leave you now. I wish you good luck. He, uh, he fades from your sight. Interesting. Uh, I then look at the book, and, um, uh, could I possibly do, like, a, um, uh, speed running because of such high intelligence, or, like, quickly <laughs> reuse these pages? Do you, and... uh, do you touch it? Do you... Uh, do, you, I was... do you touch the pages? Uh, I was going to use magic to skim through the pages extremely fast, but... Does he, does he have enough light to see? Oh, he, there's plenty of light. That, that little orb from the other reality came with y'all. Uh, there's light oh. there. I, uh, set my hand on the page, ready to turn it. Now, you feel something grab you. Like a hand, but you, you don't see anything. And you begin to hear a voice inside your head. It's very raspy. Very guttural. You found me. Shush. I don't know what sent me to you. But I'm at home here at peace. I know what you're looking for. I've already read your mind. I will give you knowledge of what you're looking for, but nothing more. Any more would destroy you. You're too weak. Too frail to know what these pages hold. And quite frankly, if you knew what limitless power you had at your disposal right here in front of you, I'm pretty sure your mind would melt and ooze out of your ears. Well, actually, I think that's a side I'd like to see. But nonetheless, here's what you need to know. I'll be gone with you. The book vanishes instantly. As if it never was there to begin with. And scribed on your brain is everything that those pages of documents before you had to offer. You look at it now as if a book you've read a million times. So you know what every sign, every symbol says. Are we back in the home plane? Or? It slowly the room around you starts to get brighter. You feel like you're at home. I uh, stand up from the table and I uh, look Oh, you got a headache. <laughs> I, uh, I slowly stand up from the table and put my hand to my head and groan in a bit of pain. Dean, I think I'm going to head back to my room. I just noticed this isn't in here. Is it? He isn't? What? No. Where, where did Zeus go? It says he disconnected. Two minutes ago. So he missed that speech. Uh, I think I'm going to be going to bed here. So I'll see you guys later. See you, Greg. Alright, take it easy. Is Zeus still on Steam? No, he just went offline a minute ago on Steam. Yep. That's kind of sad in Well, that just kind of puts a damper on things. It does indeed. Should someone take this place until he gets back? I don't, I don't know. Just kind of out of the blue vanishes. Maybe he crashed. We should like give him a minute. See if he comes back. Oh, he just messaged me and said internet died. Oh, all right. Should probably put down the password then. I just noticed I put this room under the lobby tab <coughs> in the um, room. Yeah. Whatever, it'll be gone when we're done. So let's just wait for him then. Oh, and when I'm telling you my role, 
that's with the modifier. Uh, do we do so, all rolls with our modifier? Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Assuming you have one. It's always just level, right? Uh, or... not necessarily. Alright. Uh, make sure I got names <laughs> right. Yours is Lucius. <laughs> right? It's actually Lucius, but he keeps pronouncing it wrong. I'm assuming on purpose. Uh, is that just L-I instead of L-U? It's uh, it's L E C I O U S. Alright, uh, thanks. Zeus says uh, he doesn't think so. What? I came back doesn't on tonight? What? I, I said, uh, he said, Internet died. I said, any chance of coming back? He said, I do not think C. Which I'm assuming is so. And this is all from his phone. 